data that I collected for our Egg Lab just in case you need help during the week to finish your data analysis. Um, up here I have our different types of metalware, the weight in grams of different cookware, the specific heat. This is the egg specific heat and here are the specific heats for the different fats that we fried. On top I have the different controls in terms of the burner. I used the front large one on a medium setting of 8 out of 10. I flipped the egg once when all of the egg whites were cooked. I placed the egg in the center of the pan and I began the next trial when my oven light went off saying that the burner was no longer warm. Um, so let's look at all of the data I collected. Each row is a trial. Each second column talks about the pan I used. Information is here. Fat, information is here. This is the grams of fat that I put into the pan. Pretty consistent. Egg mass after I cracked it, not with the shell. The initial egg temperature, I let them all warm up to room temperature. Begin cook time. This is the time at which I put the egg in the pan after I turned the pan on. So I started at time zero with the pan on the burner with no heat. And this is the time that I put in the egg. This is the temperature of the pan at which point I put the egg in. And this is why I put the egg in at that time. Usually it has to do with the butter fully melting or the fat, the oil being translucent and somewhat uh, runny. You don't want to have a viscous fat. It means it's not heated up properly. End cook time refers to the time that I took the egg out of the pan. This is the final temperature of the pan at that time. So we have pan temp change. What was the change in temperature for when I ended cooking the egg to when I began cooking the egg? Final egg mass is the weight of the egg after I cooked it. This is the change in grams. Mostly your egg is going to be losing water as a result of being fried. Um, here's the average egg mass in terms of the beginning and final. That's going to be useful for calculating QMAT for question two because mass was changing with the eggs. We're just going to make the assumption that the average is the best way to solve for QMAT. Here's the final egg temperature by putting a thermometer into the fully cooked egg white. Um, egg temp change again is the change in temperature from when the egg was raw to when it was finally cooked. And then here's finally the cooking time. I hope this helps with your analysis.